Hey folks, it's Fook. It's another gorgeous day in San Diego and uh, you know I figure that I've not given a van tour yet so it's time that I show you what I have. So follow along and let's check out the van. By the way the weather is uh, getting nicer so uh, I'm gonna be taking the van out every weekend and uh, try to enjoy the beach or the lakes or wherever else in San Diego and when I have a bit more time I'll take uh, longer trips. But uh, that's the plan. So I just have the van parked in my driveway. Got some reflectix on the window just to help keep it cool. But there she is. So I don't have a name yet, but I will soon. Um, still thinking about what I want to call her. Overall, she's in great shape. When I got her, because it's a 25-year-old van, it's a 1994 Coachman M19 RD, um, there was some very slight body rust. So this was a spot in the corner here that had some rust, and along the top rail, there were minor spots of rust here or there. So I had someone come by and uh, sand it out, did repairs and whatnot, just so that it doesn't spread. But aside from that, it's in remarkably great shape. Now, some of the fiberglass can use a little bit of cleaning and uh, reconditioning. Um, and I think that the clear coat can as well. But like I said, overall, it's uh, in great shape. So the van is uh, in this white and burgundy trim, which uh, continues on the inside. There's an outside, outside shower an Onan Microlite 2800 generator, gray and black tanks as well as fresh tanks, uh, rooftop air, there's a Max Air or Fantastic Fan, I don't remember what it is. Um, so yeah, very nice shape overall. So the exterior color scheme is uh, brought inside. It used to be a much brighter burgundy, but over the last 25 years, UV, UV rays have done a number to it and it has faded to this kind of mauve pinkish color and to be honest with you it's not something that I would select myself but uh, it doesn't look all that bad so here we are on the inside and since it's just me traveling um, I usually keep the passenger seat turn around 100% of the time I do flip that back seat uh, down when I'm driving so I can see the uh, the side mirrors but that chair is pretty much 100% turned around full-time um, I can do the same with the driver's chair but uh, I usually don't need to it's really nice and open in this van which is uh, which is great there is an over cab bunk so this area can be uh, you can slide it out and it turns into a full bed that sleeps too but like I said, it's just me, so I don't actually use it for sleeping quarters and uh, just use it for storage, which is great. It, uh, it gives me additional storage because there's not a whole lot of overhead storage cabinet uh, to make use of. I really like the open layout of this uh, van. This uh, couch sofa here takes up uh, most of the front driver's side of the, of the coach and it can uh, fold out, the back flips over, and it turns into a full bed. But since it's just me, I rarely have to do that at all. I have plenty of room. It's almost like a twin mattress, uh, and I sleep very comfortably on it. Because this is the RD model, the RD stands for rear dinette, so here it is. I can remove the table, and I can flip down the, the back the back cushion on both sides and make this into another large twin slash full bed that sleeps to uh, crosswise. Um, because you're sleeping crosswise, it's you can't be very tall. I would guess, you know, maybe five and a half feet at the most. So either shorter adults or uh, children can sleep back here. But Coachman does say that this van sleeps six. So two in the back, two in the full uh, sofa, and then two in the overhead bunk. Um, that would put the weight limit at a crazy amount for this van. So other amenities include uh, a toilet, 
and the previous owner didn't even use it at all so that black tank is rarely used and I've not had to use it myself there is no indoor shower at all so you just draw these curtains uh, to give you privacy if you do need to use the toilet other amenities include the two-way Dometic fridge it's technically a three-way fridge but on this van only propane and 110 volt is hooked up so either uh, I can run it on propane which is what I do almost 100% of the time or I can turn on the generator and run it there is a microwave which does run on the generator only and a Dometic rooftop air conditioning unit which works great I do have this space above the microwave with uh, an antenna input uh, for a TV, a small TV, and there's an AC outlet there that I can use, and I have my little portable fan stored there, um, but I don't have a small TV that goes into this space. I just bought an off-the-shelf TCL 32-inch TV that works really well and acts like a huge big screen in this coach. So there's my TCL TV, along with my Go Zero Yeti 400. Because this coach only has one 12 volt house battery, I don't want to use it too much, uh, except for the basics like the overhead fan, lights, and things like that, water pump. Uh, so I use the Goal Zero, which I have a solar panel to recharge for TV, charging phones, and other electronics, and uh, for my laptop. There is a nice size 18 gallon fresh water tank, I think it's 18 gallons, but because the tank is 25 years old, um, I don't know if it's you know quite safe to use it probably is uh, it's been disinfected but I just feel safer drinking out of my five gallon water jug so other amenity includes a sink with uh, storage underneath and a two burner Wedgwood propane stove now when I first got the van the propane was uh, turning on for about two seconds and then would go off right away. Uh, and the fridge on propane wasn't running. It turns out that my regulator had gone bad, so I took it to a local RV shop, had them repaired it. But uh, overall, aside from that, the van is uh, in great shape for a 25-year-old van, as you can see. And lastly, this is my Fantastic Fan or Max Air Fan. I'm not entirely sure what it is but it does a great job of keeping the van cool uh, when I open the windows and turn it on. Uh, it's actually amazing how much ventilation it brings into, into the van. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. That was my tour of my 1994 Coachman M19RD camper van on the Chevy G30 uh, van chassis. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.